subjected this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which is supposed to be the stability of thy times, and you ain't gonna be able to stand. Because you rejected it. You'd rather have been lazy, laying down on the bed, not doing shit, not doing no type of work. For the Lord be all washed out. But then because you say, oh Lord Jesus, you're good, the Lord is good, that's enough. It's just good to say you gotta seek about 10 times, B times. There's not enough praise that you can do to, to, to praise the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai. That's forever. You think one, my, uh, you making a New Year's resolution is supposed to suffice you Yahweh Shai, return and, 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 and he's gonna repent of because you and a, a, a great multitude of people decided, hey, well, I'm gonna do right this year? No, it should have been written in the law. That's time your shit went up all the way to the heavens. Babylon's time is done. Y'all are incurable. We can't cure you. Yahweh Shai can't do nothing. He's got to destroy you. He's got to ultimately lay down that whip. And it's going to burn. It said, I guess wish the stream did. That's what's going to wake you up. Because I remember back in the day when I was young, I didn't want to get up for school. My dad would fucking whip my ass right there when I was passed out. Badass. I was pulling a fucking whip right across my back. Wait, oh, I'll oh, jump up. Oh, fucking like, you know, that's what, that's what you call a rude awakening. And then you look at your father's face and what is it? Piss. Get up. Get the fuck up. That's what he says. That's what Yahweh Shai's going to say. And we're going to see you in the kingdom. When you're burned up. Like you're burning. You're going to come back in the kingdom right. You're going to come in the, in the kingdom in a, in a fucking, in Chinga's hurt, in a hurry. We're ready to work for Yahweh Shai. Because you know you fucked up in the prior time. Right? It said, and immediately, and against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell. Yes, it said the stream? Yeah, the stream. The stream? The stream. And immediately it fell. And they were like, he saw it's gonna come like a flood. It's good to say that let, let, let the judgments of the Lord rain down yeah. as waters. Yeah. Oh, there was a video. There was a video of these two. Uh, I don't know what the I don't know what the other guy is that's recording with them. But there's a Negro friend with him. They're riding a canoe. They're fishing. You know, they're fishing. You know, and the guy that's recording, he's singing. You know, he's humming. He, he's having a peaceful time because the water's calm. But the Negro behind, in front of him. He's looking back, and he, he's, he's, he's like, hey, hey man, you he broke. He goes, I think this stuff, this, this stream ends. This water, what it is. And the guy's like, no, nah, man, it doesn't. He goes, you're all right. He goes, no, you're good. He goes, no, man, I, I really think, you know. And he looks behind, he goes, like, no, bro, no. And they finally, get, they're like, and then they finally realize, it's a fuck. You see in the front, there's a huge-ass waterfall. And then all of a sudden, that noise gets loud, and they jump out. You know, but I mean, they made it, but that's what it's like for y'all people right now. Y'all about to fall to y'all edge, man. Y'all are peaceful. Y'all are so blind and y'all think it's really a peaceful day. But y'all are about to fall, man. That fall, and that fall is going to be great. Well, that, hold on. Let me, it said, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Y'all have no idea what's at the edge. That, that's not, and then the thing about the brother where it says that that rude awakening, it's going to be so hard and so, so painful. That you're, you even know the most high is putting the law in our hearts and in our minds of the kingdom. But to y'all, man, y'all are gonna actually, y'all gonna be corrected so hard that y'all's minds are actually gonna be corrected. Like I'm trying to say, like, like it's not gonna be out of, it's not gonna be out of uh, willingness. It's gonna be out of pure control of the most high. That he's like, no, you don't, you know, you don't want to go off anymore. You know. You, you never, you know in your heart, you are never gonna wanna go off. That's how hard it's gonna be. To where you, you never, you've never been asked so hard. It's impossible to fathom the, a, a, a beating like that. You can't, that fire is what's gonna be unbearable. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a gnashing of teeth. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a fire that's unquenchable. God. And that's, that's, that, that's the thing that's gonna ultimately do it. God. And you've never felt, you have never felt at this magnitude. You're lit, you're, and it's not even us. Most I, you know, uh, he, he created a word, fathom. You know, he, he created a way to explain it that there's no way you can honestly 
imagine that pain. That's no, that's no lie. But that's what's coming. We're coming to that time. Because, but because why? In the beginning it said, and why call you me, what and why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say like the Bible is saying. You're not coming out here to do what you're supposed to do. You're being lazy, you're being whatever you want to be. And, the, and then the beautiful thing too is uh, the, the, the brother, uh, when the when the apostle, apostle McCall was down here in Dallas uh, last week, uh, they brought, the brothers made a video, I can't remember what it was called, but they, the first thing they started saying, or Ariella started saying, we goes, uh, the thing about you people, man, the thing about all of us is that your natural self sucks. All right, what you what you naturally are sucks as a person, as a being. What you what you naturally were created, what you naturally are created are today and today sucks. That's why you need the scriptures. That's why you need the Yahweh to wake you up to, 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 to and have you go away according to His will, because you alone you are a shitty person. You you saying well this is just how I am today. And that's and then, you know what man that's a, and that's a and that's a correction to myself to every brother out there that when you, that you need to get that out of your head that this is just the way I am the the Yahweh Shah is always correcting you man because you are not enough alone by yourself you need this correction I'm sorry if I chill out this is Isaiah 64 and 6 it says but we but we are all as unclean things. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Yeah, man, you know, like you're 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 unclean or uh, what sorry, uh, yeah. Isaiah 64 and 6. But we but we are all as unclean things. All our righteousness are as filthy rags. Yeah, you know, all our righteousness is as filthy rags. Your your original self is not is not even good. That's why you need to be fit. That's why you need the scriptures. That's why you need constant correction. That's why you need constant order. And it's the spirit that keeps bringing it out, man. That uh, nothing good can come out of a man. Nothing good can come out of you being yourself, of you being your natural self. That's how you and James. You need the, the spirit needs to rule. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Let's just say, let's say that they are, they are all. They are all yeah, gone see? out of the way. Yeah. They, are, they, are, they are together become unprofitable. So there you go, it's telling you that nothing good comes out of men. That you can't, that uh, uh, all together or, uh, or by yourself, you can't become a righteous person. The Most High and the help, the help by Shema was shot, and the elect men of the of the Lord need to rule and need to and need to to govern society because they know how to keep things in balance and in order. You're, a natural man in itself does not know how to maintain order. Look what happens. Look what's happening, man. 2016, man, and you people are still ignorant to ignorant to the devices that Esau are created. Esau's created. Not even that, that, that all this all this wickedness that's being committed in the earth has a, 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 a recompense. Like going back in the old times, all this homosexual shit, all these weird people dressing the way they dress, all these different styles of dress, their their attire, and all these different symbols that they got. That shit wasn't acceptable in those times. That shit was looked up, frowned upon. You, somebody dressed like a fucking faggot, they were fucking mocked and scoffed at. Now today, everything is uh, acceptable. There's, now the whole the whole little models they pushed out there is like, don't be ashamed, you know, don't, don't uh, be you. Uh, uh, that's who God made you. So uh, uh, embrace it and, and show the world. That's wicked, man. And that's, that's what y'all forgot, that there's a recompense for those, those that wicked mind frame. Got another one right in the same chapter Romans 3 and uh I start at verse 3 it says for what is something not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect God forbid yea let God be true 
but every man a liar. As it is written thou, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. It's just telling you, man, that you're not you're not good. Man, man, man by himself is not good. And you come from Adam. Everybody says, oh, you come from Adam. Adam was not Adam. Did not Adam fall? He's wicked. He was wicked. He was a sinner. And that, that, we all be, we all fell in that same curse. So what are you talking about? Yahweh Shai is the one that was that better one. He was that better Adam. The one that ultimately came. He, Yahweh Shai was a, 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 a Adam, you know what I'm saying? He's the one that came back, right? And fulfilled and brought, he's gonna bring back the remnant of Israel back to Yahweh. <coughs> so if you say you're from Adam, then you're fuck, you're wicked. You're a sinner. There's no good thing that can come from you. got something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it continued in Romans 3 and uh, 23. It says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. You know, did not Adam come short? Yeah. Did not Adam come short? So if he came short, what's going to happen to the rest of the population? They're, they fall short. So you, you think you're the one that, 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 that's above Adam? Yahweh is the only one that reigns supreme. Yahweh is the only one that has that uh, that that right. Even go go get Revelations five and one. Uh, Revelation chapter 5 verse 1 And I saw on the right hand of him That sat on the throne A book written within And on the backside Sealed with seven seals right, that's the, 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 the scriptures The scriptures The, the writings that were written on the parchments okay. uh, And I saw an angel or, And I saw a strong angel Proclaiming with a loud voice Who is worthy to open the book And to loose the seals thereof and no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book. Hey, you were, if you were so, you're so high and mighty above Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, why couldn't you open the book? Why couldn't you unravel the mysteries of, of the scriptures? Which proves that you're a liar. It says, who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, nor, 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 nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. No man was found worthy to open the book. No man was. So you're better than Adam? You're better than Yahweh Shah? You people today in this generation, perverse, wicked generation, you think it's righteous and above uh, all that is good? You think you're above the brothers on the highways and the byways, the elect? You deserve to be uh, delivered, but we don't. Where's your works? Where's your humbleness? It says, uh, it says uh, and no man in he heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. No man was found worthy to open the book. No man was able to bring salvation to the nation of Israel. Go ahead. It said, and, uh, and, uh, and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. The root of David, the, uh, from the tribe of Judah, a lion, had prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I behold and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood up real quick. That's Yahweh Shah. Because from the tribe of Judah. Right? And they're like as a lion. Right? And he's from the root of David, meaning that he is King Solomon. Right? Yeah. It says, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of Yahweh, so to all the earth. Okay, that's Yahweh Shai. The only Yahweh Shai was, is, is the, a faithful one. The truth, the truth. The rest of you, you people, all of us, even us, we're considered liars. That's why we have to speak according to the truth. If you don't speak according to, uh, if you speak not according to the law and to the testimony, 
There was no light in me. You know? So, who are you, man? All you, all, you, all, all you majority people y'all speak as one head. Y'all are all one head, one body. With this New Year's, New Year's resolution. Y'all are hoping for prosperity. Right? Y'all are fortune. We're not. We're cursing that. We're rebuking that. And we're telling you it's about to die. He said, uh, and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that set upon the throne. Which was Yahweh. It's two, two, two separate beings. Yahweh is the Father, Yahweh is the Son. The Son. And the Spirit is with them. Alright? There ain't no Trinity. There ain't none of that bullshit. And he came, and, he, uh, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts of four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them hearts and golden vows full of orders which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to, to the most high by, the, by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Thou shalt bring salvation to us. No man else, no other man can do that. No man. Thou shalt bring salvation to us. Chapter 1, uh, verse 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make, we make him a liar and his word. Let's start at first, first John chapter 1, verse 5. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. So Yahweh Shai is alive, he's sound, he's, he has a sound mind. He has, he, 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 uh, he has uh, righteous judgment and discernment. There's no evil in Yahweh Shai or the father Yahweh. Okay. It says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Because you're doing what's, what's contrary to what the Most High said. If you're not doing the work, if you're not doing what the Most High has told this whole nation to do, all right, you're 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 a liar. There's no evil. You cannot. Uh, what scripture say? Can uh, can, e can uh, can evil? In, what is it called? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the script. But what 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 uh what? Like the one in the Corinthians. I think so. The Second Corinthians six and fourteen. But, but ye not be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship? That righteousness, righteousness with unrighteousness. There you go, right there. I was thinking I want to say right where it said what agreement that righteousness, you know, there's there's no there's no there's no you can't tempt the most the most high is not tempted by evil. I think brother said he's sound or he's pure. Alright, you, if you if you say you're doing what's right, but you're doing contrary to what he says, you're wicked, you're a liar. Alright? And what communion has light with darkness? What agreement is there? What what pieces are between? That's what I was saying. First John, what chapter? What chapter were you reading? John, was it first John? First John one and six. You read John first chapter was seven when he came into the world. Yeah. And he finished these. Okay. okay. And that real quick, that light represents knowledge. That darkness represents knowledge. But on the left hand side, so I mean, you you got to have one or the other. All right. Yahweh I said you can't serve two gods. Either, either hate or love the other. It's a second Corinthians, going back to 2 Corinthians 6 and our 
teams. <laughs> Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? That's why you gotta be separate to the to the brotherhood. That's why you gotta be separated from this world. Uh, uh, use the world but not abusing it. You know? If you're doing things that are gonna lead you back into a and lead you back into this world, you need to you need to cut it out. That's what the brothers were saying too in the video that we're getting more every time we say it, it gets closer and closer. And it gets more. Don't, don't take it as a light thing. You know the scriptures to tell you balance, man. There's always balance. And you have, in the brotherhood, you have understanding. So when we say, you know, understand what we're saying, you know, you, you, you take the time that you need. You but can't you be in the world, but don't be doing the things that the, yeah. what you used to do. The scriptures yeah. tell you what you used to do. You know what you used to do. Stop being a nigga. Stop fucking being a, a, a bitch. And wake up and do, be a man and do what the Lord tells you to do. Separate yourself from the world. What, what, what does the world do? They do what they want. They get up when they want. They choose what they want to do. Who to obey and when to obey. The Lord don't do that. The Lord's not with that. That's a rebellion. That's witchcraft. That's evil. When you have a mindset like that. Uh, stop doing the, 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 the traditions of America. <laughs> that, that's another one. One of the, the hardest things for you people to stop doing. It says, uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 15. And what concord with Christ, or what concord had Christ with uh, Belial, Belial? And that's an agreement. What is Yahweh Shai? What does the Bible have any agreement with Belial? Which is uh, wicked and base people. You know, uh, 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 doctrines of devils, man. What agreement does that, this Bible have anything to do with Christmas? What does this Bible have anything to do with New Year's Eve? It says, For what part had he that believeth with an infidel? With an infidel. An infidel is an unbeliever. And what agreement had the temple of God with idols? Are we not that temple of Yahweh Shah? So the scriptures tell us that we are the temple of Yahweh Shah. I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Yeah, you know, you try to like real quick. You say, you know, you know, still, still that we're barely just get, we barely just got done celebrating, or celebrating. The world just got done, barely just got done celebrating Esau's holidays. Still, New Year's is a, is a, is a Esau's tradition. That's not biblical. The, the Bible gives you, uh, gives you actually a, a, a month that's the new that really starts the new year. And that's somewhere in April, all right? So this is all Esau's, all Esau's uh, uh, traditions and customs. There is a Passover is when the new year begins. Jesus Christ to deliver these people on the side because we fit the prophecies of the Bible and do it on the chapter 28 last scripture uh -huh. uh, this is Amos 3 and 2 it says you only have a it says verse, Amos chapter 3 verse 1 hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you of children of Israel the Bible is all about Israelites right from the beginning to the end it's all about the nation of Israel so these are the only people he came to save that's right you don't believe that 
Can you read it real quick? It says, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. Uh huh. Because we're the ones that came out of slavery. Like, again, America, we're here, this is spiritually known as Egypt. And we're under the so called white man, the slavery. And the most is coming back to deliver the Negro, Latino, Native American, and the elect, 144,000. It says, you only have I known. Right, only us has, has he known. We're the only ones that received the law, statutes, and commandments. <laughs> We're the only ones that have been uh, uh, been revealed the uh, the names of Yahweh Shai, of, of, of the Father and the Son. Everybody else is still calling our saints our Borgia. Everybody else still bowing down and worshiping Semiramis and Tammuz and Nimrod. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, therefore he's going to punish us for all our iniquities. Is that, is that not what we were reading in the very beginning of, of, of the lesson? Of being out here in this, on the highways and the hedges? It says, can, can two walk together except they be agreed? They walk two. You know, that was a perfect example. That he was like, man, I'm getting out of here. Because we don't agree. We can't walk, we can't stand together. And he didn't have enough on his arsenal to come, come back and forth with us. He said he had his Bible with and his sword, so why didn't he, why didn't he uh, stand for the faith? He basically deserted it. And that's what y'all was saying with, with, with two thirds, man. He ain't with you two thirds because that's what y'all do, y'all desert. When it's time to, it's when it's time to uh, put on your armor and, and, and pull, pull your sword out, y'all want to uh, flake out, y'all want to burn out. And that's what Yahweh Shai ain't dealing with you two thirds or these other nations, man. Because these nations ain't really about Yahweh Shai. They ain't really about the, 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 the Bible, man. Yahweh Shai is, is, is dealing with, is looking for real men, right? And, and those real men are out there. We don't, we don't know who they are, but they're out there, man. It's like Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, Ezra, Ezra said in uh, was it Second Ezra, he said, that in much, much, basically saying in, in much of, in, of the earth is dirt, but a few, not too much gold is there. And we're, we're those gold, man. we're that gold. That it's not, it's not many. There's a lot of rocks and dirt and all that. That's what y'all are. But the gold is, is the elect. But that was an example of that the most side uh, don't have a, 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 a an agreement or or. You know, an agreement with light and darkness. We are that light. Lord will, if we're the elect, we are that light. The word, the word is the light regardless. So we're gonna keep pushing it out. So that man was in darkness, man. You believe that who the world called Jesus Christ came to save back, save everybody. So who are the sinners? Who are the wicked? No. And that's why GMS is the top ones that are pushing the truth because no one else gets into those things. Uh, Proverbs 26 and 13. A slothful man said, There was a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. As the door turned upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. You know, it's like the brother was saying, like you, it's like the most hot door, like he was saying, how y'all don't want to continue to do what y'all do. Y'all get up the way y'all, y'all don't want to get ready. You know, like the brother said, when y'all get your armor, or when it's time to get your armor up, you don't want to get ready. You want to you turn back over, like it says in Genesis with uh, Judah. Y'all turn back over, man. Y'all, y'all, the, the, the war is here, the war is happening. But you're like Brad Pitt and Troy in the beginning of the movie. You know, when the king called him, you remember? You see my movie, Troy? When, when, uh, when, they, when, they, were, when they were calling for, uh, what was it, Achilles? What was his name? Yeah, Achilles. And they were like, they were looking back, like, where, where the fuck is he at? And someone had to go fetch his ass, but what were you doing? Trying to get all those women, or lay with all these women, you know, turned over like a like a tired man. And like we talk people are like. Yeah, Acts chapter five, verse twenty-nine. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey God rather than men." Mm -hmm. That's why we, we 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 read the scriptures, we study, and we 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 uh we pull out the scriptures to prove certain uh, to cast down certain strongholds. <laughs> 
So we'd rather obey God than men. We're not going to be like, oh, yeah, you're right, man. And da, da, da. We're, I was about to get ready to go to, go to war with him to prove that uh, yeah, the Lord only, is only going to come back for Negro, Latino, Native American Indians who are Israelites. And it, it don't take much. It says, uh, Acts 5 and 30, the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to